Hello, all you creative people out there. This is Kevin from CC Pipe, where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. Today's topic is based on a tip I got from a colleague, actually. It's the place and link feature in InDesign. This is new for me too, and I thought I'd share it after having experimenting a bit with it myself. So if you use InDesign, you have probably heard of master pages, right? What if I told you you can use the same principle for text boxes? Guess what? You can, using the place and link feature. It allows us to select a master text box and then link copies to that one. Then if you want to make changes, we just need to change it in one place. So why care about this? Well, for me, what I try to strive towards is not having to make the same adjustments more than once. Just like master pages, this gets us one step closer to that. Let's start off in InDesign. Here I have two text boxes. To begin with, we need to select a box, then go to edit and link and place. I've set a custom shortcut, so that's what I'll be using from now on. We then get this window, which by the way, I had never seen about a week ago. And let's just go through it a bit. We have two tools and automatically get the content placer tool with uh, which we drag out copies. Then we have the content collector tool, which we can use to add more to our conveyor, which is uh, basically our place queue. So if we use the collector tool and uh, select this, we now have two items in the conveyor. We can then drag out our copies. As you might expect it, if we now change the text in the master boxes, let's just write something in. We should see that we have some objects to update in the links panel. And then when we do that and it updates, easy. Another thing, if you want to place more than one copy, we can switch modes here. If we hover over it, it says what it does. First, we have place, remove and load next. That's what we just used then place multiple and keep, and place keep and load next. Those are good for placing multiple copies of the same item. The difference is that with the last one, it automatically loads the next. With the middle one, you can paste the current until you move it to the next. If we put these in the queue, as you can see now, um, with the middle, we have infinite copies of the first one, just drag them out, until we switch with the arrows here, and uh, with the last, it goes over to the next one automatically. I like to give somewhat practical examples, so let's jump down a page. Here's two photo collections, on uh, one on each row. The top description is the collection name, and the bottom is a specific description. The collection name is where I thought we could use this feature. We select the box, go to Place Link, get the Collect tool, and we select the other one as well. Now we have both in our conveyor. Lastly, I want to make sure I have place and keep selected. Now I just need to drag these first boxes out and I might just speed this up a bit. Then switch to the other one with the arrows over here and then just drag those out as well. If we now need to change the collection name, we can just do it in our master. Maybe we realized the gear was wrong, so let's update that. Go to the links panel and then just update. And that's it, folks. I thought it was a neat feature. Hope you think the same. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a lot. And also, if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure to throw those in the comments below. Once again, thank you and until next time, have a good one.